Dr. Claus, and this is a video tutorial for using Soundtrap. Soundtrap is a digital audio workstation, which is a tool that allows users to create, record, edit, mix, and master audio. Some well-known digital audio workstations, or DAWs, are GarageBand, Audacity, Pro Tools, and Logic. However, Soundtrap is an online collaborative digital audio workstation, which means that users can use the tool online on any mobile or desktop device that's connected to the internet, and they can collaborate in real time with other users on the same project. Soundtrap is not an industry standard digital audio workstation, and if you're recording a project by yourself, then some of those other tools will be best suited for that purpose. But if you're looking to collaborate with others, Soundtrap is a really good choice. To get started with Soundtrap, click on an invitation sent by your instructor, or you can also enter the invitation code into the Soundtrap login page. The invitation code will take you to this page. Uh, it's recommended that you use Chrome browser or Firefox when working with Soundtrap. So I am a new user, so I will click new user, and then I'll sign up with my Office 365 account, which is our Ithaca College email address. Once you're in Soundtrap, you can click on your groups and you should see the name of your class. Now to get started, we're going to click on Enter Studio. There are video tutorials you can watch to help you get started. And I'm going to click Add a New Track and Voice Microphone. So a few just tips about using Soundtrap. One is if you have a USB microphone like the Yeti or Blue Snowball microphone, um, that will result in higher quality recordings. If you don't have them, you can use the built-in microphone on your computer. It's really important to do a volume test when you get started with Soundtrap. So I'm going to click on this button right here and that will open up the volume check and I click start test and I'll play my instrument or sing as loudly as I will in the recording and it will Soundtrap will automatically adjust the volume of your microphone game, which is really helpful for creating the best possible recording quality. In your project, you can control things like the tempo of the recording. So if you're recording along with the metronome, um, so if you'd like to record with the metronome, this is a really useful tool here. And you can also indicate if you want the metronome on or off while you're recording. If you'd like, you can also set the key of the piece. And when you're ready, you can click Start Recording. Make sure that you use headphones while recording with Soundtrap. Otherwise, you'll hear feedback in your recording. Soundtrap provides a count in and then you can begin recording. Check one, two, check one, two. Once you have your recording, there are some basic editing tools that you should be aware of. If you move the cursor to any point in the track, and we can also zoom in to see a little bit more clearly here, you can use Command E or Control E to split a track wherever the cursor is, and that can be a really useful tool. You can also click on any region in your track and delete it. You may experience some latency while you record, so your voice or instrument may record, may sound like it's delayed with the other members of your class or recording. So in order to line that up, you'll simply move your recording to the left or right until it sounds like it's in time. And there are strategies for lining up recordings with an anchor. So your instructor or group leader might have everyone clap at the same time to line up those claps. And that can be really useful for getting tracks to synchronize together. You can also use Command or Control C and V to copy and paste material. And you can click on this icon on your track to change plugins or add effects to your voice. You'll probably also use the collaboration tool when working with Soundtrap. So simply click on the collaborators button and invite members from your class. So I'm going to invite Professor Banks to participate in this project. And once you have a collaborator, you can use this window to chat and communicate with your partner. You can even do a video call if you want to video conference while working on your project. When you are working in real time with a collaborator, make sure that you save and synchronize your project often. So whenever your collaborator adds something, it'll invite you to sync to your, your partner's latest updates. 
Okay, that is it for the basic tutorial for Soundtrap. Stay tuned for a more advanced tutorial following this video about how to synchronize recordings with a reference track, creating an anchor to keep everybody together, and more opportunities for collaboration. Thank you.